Pisces, 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 Pisces. My beautiful Pisces. I'm back to do a general read for you. All right, if this is your first time joining me, Pisces, welcome, welcome to the channel. And I hope that you decide to become a part of the tribe by subscribing. Those of you returning, Pisces, welcome back. Thank you so much for all of your messages and your support. I really, truly appreciate you, Pisces. And thank you for taking the time to join me again today. All right, Pisces, we're going to ask Spirit for some messages here regarding the upcoming days for you, what's coming at you. We want to see what's coming your way, Pisces. No surprises, okay? We don't want surprises, so... We want to know in advance what's coming your way. And we're asking Spirit for any warnings that may be necessary as well, if that is the case. We're asking Spirit to divulge that information for you. All right, Pisces. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So what that means is if this resident, if this message does not resonate with you Pisces please do not panic all that means is you need to go ahead and click the subscription button and hit that notification bell because when your message drops within the next few days you want to be the first one to know about it all right spirit let's get some messages on the board for my lovely Pisces people what can they look forward to in the upcoming days here let me get my last couple shuffles in as Spirit is advising me to do. And then we'll get some messages on the board for you. All right, let's see what we got going on, Pisces. Oh, the sun is making an appearance. Beautiful. All right. All right, let me get my clarifiers going here. Let me shuffle my clarifying deck and get some clarifiers on the board. Spirit, let's get a clarifier. Tell me why this seven of pentacles is up here. All right, Spirit, why do we have the sun here? And the seven of cups in reverse. All right, let's see what we got going on here, Pisces. Your first message comes by way of the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the Sun. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. The number seven is going to be an important number coming up for you guys I just got that hit so just be mindful of when you see the number seven and um, something being uh, marked with the number seven so things that carry the number seven there's something there for you that's important for you to note and take note of when you see that number. all right that kind of message doesn't come through often. So when it does, I know that spirit has a lot going on with it for you. All right, <clears throat> it's a particular note in other words. Our first message coming by way of the seven of pentacles being clarified by the 10 of swords in the upright. <coughs> Excuse me, Pisces. All right. What I'm seeing here, Pisces, is there's something that you are looking at that you have invested a lot of time and energy into. Um, and it's become painful. Like the situation is reflecting as the Ten of Swords, which is a very painful situation, one in which you actually feel defeated. Like you have taken the time and energy to really go out of your way, really provide a lot of hard work. And you can see here, he's got this knee patch, like he's been working hard, like even his clothes, 
indicate that he's been working hard. And, you know, and you've put all this in and what you got out of it was defeat. You got hurt, you got pain, you've got, you know, effort that you now are looking at. Where did I go wrong? Where did I waste my effort in this situation, okay? And why did things turn out this way? For many of you, I do see this as a situation more like career focused or in your work life somehow. And for some of you, it is looking for work in and of itself has felt painful going out on these interviews, investing your time and energy, maybe even making sure that you have the right clothes for the right look. You know, you had to reach into your pocket where your pocket wasn't exactly full of coins and you made an investment um, in buying new clothes to interview. And this has just been like, you have not yet found what you're looking for or you've been turned down at every corner for what it is that you desire, right? And so now you're looking and saying, what am I doing wrong? What, you know, what do I need to do here? Because my investment is not paying off. I've been hitting the internet every day. I've been applying. I've been going out on these interviews. I've been talking to people. No one seems to want to, to help me out in this situation. For others of you, there's a situation here that I see that does involve your work and something that you have been assigned to do. You have put in your effort. You've you come to work every day, you're on time, you've been doing the things, you've been doing hard work. However, those in charge are not seeing or not valuing you is what I'm getting more specifically. They're not valuing the work that you've been putting forward. They're looking at it, they're critiquing it, and the critique is... is not coming out well for you and because of that you are in a state of defeat some of you have even recently lost your jobs right due to um others just coming down on you unnecessarily hard it feels unfair this is the feeling that i get overall with this it feels unfair all right and so there is also another scenario and God, spirit is just opening up a lot of different scenarios. I was trying to make these shorter readings here, these energy checks, but I feel Pisces like yours is going to take a little extra time because for you guys, I see just multiple scenarios here on the table in front of me. So for some of you, this is in a, a love situation where you feel like you've given your best, you've invested, you really have made a heartfelt investment. You're, you haven't been bullshitting in this connection. You have invested your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, you've invested everything. And at the end of the day, it doesn't feel like it's been enough because you feel the crushing blow of defeat. This connection is not working out to your advantage. Um, this is difficult. This has been painful. It's been hard. And you don't know how to turn it around. <clears throat> and for some of you, it can't be turned around at this point. This person is gone now. But this is what I'm seeing here. You sitting back and doing a review of what it is, Pisces, you brought to the table and why you did not get what you deserve. All right. But we do have the sun here, and this is clarity, clarity at a very high level. So these things that you're ruminating on in your mind, um, whether it is the work situation, whether it is the job search information, or whether it is you know the love situation, you will receive clarity, and the sun will shine again. Um, it is being clarified by the Six of Clubs, which is the winner card. So that lets me know that 
the sun is about to come out in your situation. You are about to get what you want. Those of you searching for work and you've been feeling as if this is never going to happen for you, that's just temporary. Like you, you're kind of in the, you haven't reached that light of the sun at the end of the tunnel yet, but it's coming. It's coming in these upcoming days because an offer will be made. You will be victorious in your effort. You will find that job. Um, sometimes what you have to understand is these job searches and these interviewing and that whole process, it takes time. Like people passing off one aspect or another. So for instance, like the job search, you know, one person did the interview, they pass on their comments to the next person who reviews them, who passes on, you know, to HR, a report, and then HR reaches out. So this can take time. All right. And so for some of you searching for jobs, I see this coming, this victory coming um, from a company that you've written off as not wanting you. And actually, it wasn't necessarily that. Like, you know, maybe you reached out and they just never came back. They never returned your calls. They never returned your messages. That doesn't mean that there was a defeat there. That means that this is going through a process that takes time. And I have been in a job search many times. And... I know that companies do a lousy job most times of keeping in contact with you after the interview. So sometimes you just never hear back. And then in this case, it's, it, it feels like maybe here what I'm seeing is months later now they're getting back to you to offer you the position that you thought they probably gave to someone else. Others of you, I'm seeing clarity in a work situation where we were talking about the difficulty coming in, the defeat coming in, and now it feels as if you, not feels as if, that's not the wording I wanted to use. Now this clarity brings you cl um, um, insight regarding who was, who were the players behind the scenes that were working against you. Like you're able to see that very clearly now this gives you a victory of sorts because now you're able to go back and address some things that happened now that you know because i believe that a lot of these people and there were multiple people involved that were working against you you may have thought some of these people some were on your side and now you know that they weren't you know that they were working against you you can see the lies that were being told about you. And now that gives you an opportunity with this victory card here to go back and address those lies directly and actually make a difference because now you will be granted some information in the form of most likely someone coming to you and giving you the tea on what happened so that you can actually go in and say, I need to have a meeting with you, dear boss man, because I understand some things were said that I would like an opportunity to address. And so you're able to clear up your name. You're able to add clarity to what your boss is seeing so that they get your side of the story. So now they see everything in this bright light of the sun instead of only seeing the back bar the backbiters side of the story okay um for those of you in this love situation you gain clarity about what has gone wrong in this situation and for some of you you're just going to let go of this or it's already been let go of you gain clarity as to what was going on behind your back and now that gives you a sense in a weird way of victory because now you know you weren't crazy. This wasn't about you. This was about the fact that this person that you were involved with did not act from a place of integrity in their connection with you. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with the fact that this person basically 
their ethics, their, their integrity is shit. That's how they get down in the connections that they are involved in. And now with this feeling of that kind of releases you from what did I do wrong? What didn't I give? That why was what I gave not enough? Now you know. And that knowledge gives you the power and the peace to move forward. And because of that, you're able to step out and be more successful in the area of love, okay? All right, so next we have this seven of cups in the reverse, and it's being clarified by the king of wands in the reverse. Oh, boy. So here we go. All right. So for those of you in the scenario with the job search, again, I see definitely the offer coming in. This company has decided we no longer want to look at all these options we have available to us. We're going to settle on Pisces. Pisces is our guy or our girl, right? And so with this king of wands who can often be a very flighty type of energy, they're now becoming more solid and stable with this being in the reverse. They've chosen you. They're going with you. This is your job, Pisces. For those of you in the work situation in which we were talking about the backbiting kind of situation going on, we're talking about your boss previously having all these stories presented to them about you with all this backbiting going on that you're now clear about. And now they're able to put all of that to rest. They're no longer confused about what's going on because I do feel that that's an element here that you're not taking into consideration as you kind of look at the situation. Um, your boss's harsh actions up until and during this point of time may have been rooted in the fact that they were confused. They were confused with all these stories that were coming in all these stories while they all the backbiters may have gotten together to present these horrible stories about you pisces the one thing about it was there was some small element in that story in each of their stories that may have contradicted one another to where as a group when they got together to do this they didn't realize this, but your boss was able to see it from their view, vantage point. They were able to see, well, there's something there that doesn't quite make sense if all these people are coming together, basically telling the same story, but with some small contradiction with each other, right? So there was some confusion there, but because of all this confusion, they just decided, okay, it's easier just to deal with Pisces as the problem than to go back into dissecting these people's stories and having them go through all this bullshit again, right? So they decided to just treat you as the problem. It was easier. But now that you've stepped up to the plate, and you have made the your side of the story known and they have a clear view now they're no longer confused they can see a a reason to stand by you pisces and now this situation can change around considerably okay for those of you in the love situation I think, you know, you're seeing that there are multiple new options out there, but you're deciding to narrow in on one. Like, you're no longer confused about what you bring to the table. You know what it is that you put forth and why you deserve love. And so you're going to make a decision regarding someone coming forward. And 
this person's going to be rather different maybe from what you're used to, Pisces. And you are definitely one of the main factors that you're looking at here is that this person is not exhibiting any type of vibe or behavior that even remotely looks to be player energy. Okay. And so overall, this queen of swords in the reverse is just saying like the energy of this time has been incredibly difficult to deal with. You've dealt with some situations and some people, Pisces, that would actually tear down a weaker person than you, okay? But you've lived through this Queen of Swords energy. This is a bitch. Queen of Swords in reverse is a total bitch. So you've lived through some bitch energy to get to the point where you can stand up and be victorious and, you know, yeah. So with this page of pentacles in the reverse, you're no longer a novice. You're no longer a newcomer to these types of difficulties. And you have found some newfound energy in actually having to deal with all of this, or you will. This may be yet to come, okay? Because we are looking at incoming energies, right? So you will find some strength and some knowledge in all of this which moves you past novice in areas where you have felt like you were a novice previously. So it's not all for naught, in other words. There are lessons here. You're going to get through those lessons. And at the end of the day, you win, Pisces. Good news. It's, not, it's a hard-fought win, but it is a win. And we're going to take it, Pisces. And we're going to move forward triumphantly. Hopefully these messages have been helpful for you, Pisces. And if they are, I would urge you to subscribe for future messages. And I wish you well. Until next time, Pisces.